Hello YouTube and welcome to another edition of the Movie Zone starring me and of course your host, The Doctor of Movies, here to talk about a new movie that just came out. So before I talk about it, happy July 1st, that means it's Terminator Day. That's right, Terminator Genesis, Genesis is back. Terminator Genesis is here, the fifth Terminator movie in the franchise. Now, if you've never seen Terminator, where have you been? Pause this, go watch Terminator 1 and 2. And you can ignore it. You can watch the other ones if you want. You know what? Doesn't really matter. Here just basically changes everything. So this movie is basically a lot different from what the other ones were. This movie stars, of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger coming back as the 800. He is the Terminator 800. Then you have Jason Clark who plays um, John Connor, and of course uh, Amelia H Amelia Clark plays Sarah Connor, and of course Jai Courtney as Kyle Reese. Now. In this movie, basically, time travel once again has to happen for the Terminators. They have to go back in time and try to stop Sarah Connor before she gives birth to the Resistance leader known as John Connor. Because in the future, John Connor, he is the Resistance leader. He's the one who tells the humans that we have to stop the Terminators because they are bad and they want to wipe out humanity. Now, this movie has a few twists and turns that kind of is kind of confusing, but if you really focus at it, you understand it better. So I'm going to try to get to it as much as try to explain to you without spoiling anything. But if you've seen the trailers, you should have been spoiled enough. Because basically everything in that tra those trailers showed us is in the movie, minus a few things here and there that even I didn't see coming. So basically, John Connor sends Kyle Reese, played by Jai Courtney, back in time to protect his mother. You know, back when she was in Terminator 1, just a waitress, typical girl, you know, she doesn't know anything, until a Terminator comes back from the future to kill her, to kill the future leader of the Resistance. Now, when he gets back in time, he's going there, he knows what he's focused on, he has to go save her, but then all of a sudden, there's a Terminator there, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Already there, Sarah Connor is basically a badass, she's already know what's going on, she's up to speed, now, Kyle Reese is looking at her all confused, and he's like, what? Yeah, basically, you see Arnold Schwarzenegger, he basically is there. He was sent back way into the back, to the past, to save Sarah Connor when she was just a kid. Now, they grow up together, they basically have a relationship, like where he, like with the Terminator, had with um, John Connor when he was a kid, when, you know, had that kind of father-son relationship. That he never had with his actual father. If you've never seen Terminator 1, spoiler. But honestly, you should. Um, Kyle Reese is the father of John Connor. But he, Kyle Reese doesn't know that. So basically, they bond a, uh, like a father-daughter kind of thing. I thought that was kind of cool. But then it shows how she's like... You know, she's so focused now on what her mission is. And she's looking at Kyle Reese as, you know, he's just in a distraction... There was like no way, there was like no point of com him coming there. And you know, for the most part, I really liked that part. I really liked how that, you know, how that whole timeline kind of changed a little bit. But you know, it didn't change so badly that it makes the first movie not exist. Like if you remember X-Men Days of Future Past where everything changed, kind of fixed here from 1, 2, and then 3 and 4 don't exist. It's kind of like that, but it kind of extends itself, you know? This movie basically focuses on 1 and 2. And for me, personally, I thought the way that they did it kind of felt like, okay, here's 1, here's 2, but here's an extension of 2. So there's Genesis. That's what I think it is. That's just my opinion. I, I don't know if anybody else is going to like that. Kind of fix that timeline where you see, see elements of Terminator 2 in here. Like you see a lot of basically Easter eggs. J. King Simmons is in this movie. You see his character from what he was in from what the original movies were. But you know what? I thought the way they did it was pretty cool. So it was like, it was like watching a, an extended director's cut of a of deleted scenes all wrapped it up where James Cameron, who directed the first two, decided, you know what, I'm going to remake this movie and add a few scenes to it that you haven't seen. So it's kind of like that, you know? Where uh, Kyle Reese is still alive. Like, what would happen 
if Kyle Reese did it, you know, Spike, I said again, spoiler, if you've never seen the first Terminator, died in that movie before his son was born, continue on to number two. Like, what would that movie be like if he was actually in that movie? Would he still be alive? Would he still helping out Sarah? Who knows? But this movie kind of explained that, like, you know, this one would have happened if he was still in it or she already knew what was going on previous before number one. Because remember, in the first movie, the original Terminator, she had no idea what the heck was going on. She had no idea she was going to give birth to the resistance of this, of the leader of the human resistance. Because the Terminators, run by Skynet, was going to basically wipe out humanity. Now, in this timeline, basically what happens is uh, Cyberdon, where the company that basically creates Skynet, creates a new, like, kind of app, in a way called Genesis, where basically in this this timeline they in now, it just, you know, shows how technology is basically everywhere. Everybody's on phones, tablets, TVs have technology that we haven't even seen yet. It's like that, and then what Skynet decides to do, he's going to take over all the computers, all everything, and wipe out humanity, take over the military weapons, and what they have to do is stop it. Now, another thing I liked about this is how Arnold Schwarzenegger plays himself, of course, from the first two Terminator movies. I like that. I like that he came back. He's old, but yet they show how, you know, how he's a Terminator, but the skin that he's on can age like a regular human, so it shows a little gray hair here and there. I thought that worked, you know, I thought that was pretty cool. The action scenes were pretty cool, too. I really thought it was really cool. And, like I said, if you've never seen the trailer for Terminator Genesis, so, warning here. Um, John Connor is now a Terminator. Yeah. Now, when I first saw the trailer for that, I thought, okay, that's something new, because, you know, the timeline thing is just getting ridiculous. I really like the opening scene in this movie, but I'll get back to that in a minute. But, yeah, I mean, honestly, I mean, I'm getting kind of tired of the whole Terminator going back in time to stop something, and then something else happens anyway. So, I mean, there's no, like, no more point of going back in time anymore. I think they should learn from that, but who knows. But yeah, like, back to like I was saying about the beginning of the movie where it just shows the resistance, finding the terminals all metal, no skin, human skin. It's just all out like, World War Three or whatever it is. I thought that was pretty cool. I thought they should have made that movie a long time ago. They should have skipped three, skipped four. Well, actually, you know what? Do four, but you know what? In a better way. Because that whole opening scene with the humans versus the Terminators, that, that was pretty cool. I thought, you know, the weapons that they used, it was pretty awesome. The technology they had, trying to stop all these machines. I thought that worked. I wish they did it more, but what can you happen? But yet, there are things in this movie that did not work at all. I'm like, okay, why is that in this movie? Now, okay, if you've seen the first, uh, the first trailer for the Genesis movie, you should know what I'm talking about. There's a scene I thought was pretty cool in the trailer, but then I watched it I was like, what a waste. Where you see Arnold, the older Arnold, versus himself, his original self when he first got there when he was a bad guy. And I was like, okay, this is going to go down. This looks like it's going to be a good fight scene. No. No, he just beats him. That's it. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You hype this up in the trailer to make it look like Arnold's going to find his younger self, like a CG version of himself. I thought the CG was okay for what it was, but, you know, some angles kind of showed like it was kind of fake. I mean, they shouldn't at least call Andy Serkis because he's like the master of motion capture. I mean, they used some motion capture, some bodybuilder, and they made his face to look like Arnold. But honestly, I mean, they hype it up in the trailer. It just felt flat. They didn't understand that, but... You know, if you wipe that out of your mind, and then you see this, you you could forget that. But yeah, I thought that was like the weakest part of this movie. You shouldn't even have it. That could have been a cool deleted scene, but you know what? Whatever. I thought Jason Clark, who played um, John Connor, I thought he worked. You know, he was a lot better than what Christian Bell was. Christian Bell played an older Co John Connor, and you know what? He felt real to me. You know, he felt like he knew what he was had to do. He knew what he had to do in that in, in that in that opportunity where he had to stop all the machines and lead everybody. He felt like a leader to me. You know, even when he was a Terminator, he felt pretty cool. 
He was common. He was a combination of like a new Terminator meets the T one thousand from number two, where he's all liquid and all that stuff. That that pretty much worked. I thought that was cool, so I like that. And um, Amelia Clark, I thought she was pretty cool too. She's not like in the same league as Linda Hamilton, who played you know the original Sarah Connor for number two. But I thought she did a pretty good job. I give her her performance in that movie an eight. So she did okay. And everybody says Jai Courtney's a bad actor. I don't think so. I think he did a really good job as, uh, um, you know, I think he did a really good job. You know, because, um, he, the only problem I had with him is, you know, as, um, Kyle Reese, he kind of whined too much, you know what I mean? Because in the original Kyle Reese, he kind of felt like a leader. Like he knew what he had to do. And in this one, I, mean, I understand he, in the movie he was kind of confused because the whole timeline changed anyway for him. So he was like, whoa, you know what? But he shouldn't be able to, see, you know, cope that deal with that. And, you know, deal what he had to do. Shake it off and help Sarah and, of course, Arnold deal with the threat. So, but yet, the CG in this movie was okay. Some here, some there were really good. I really thought the fight scenes between Arnold and um, John Connor were pretty cool because you know they're both Terminators. I thought it was I thought it was really nice what they did with it. You know that that twist that they did with that it was pretty cool. There are a lot of Easter eggs in here too. I mean, and there's still a lot of questions that they haven't answered yet. Like for instance, like who sent Arnold back? You know they never explained that. They still haven't. So nobody still knows. Even to this day, they still don't know. So, that's a mystery. Maybe the next one might show it. If there is a next one, who knows. Keep our fingers crossed that this making and it makes money. So, But yeah, overall, I really thought Terminator Genesis was a pretty cool movie. I mean, it's not the greatest movie. I do think it's better than 3 and 4. Way better than 4. If I had to arrange this in order, I'll put it 1, 2, Genesis, 3, a little bit, and then give it a 4. You know what, the Terminator Genesis 2 should be number 4. Now, there you go. That could be the new order. 1, 2, Genesis, then a little bit of 3, and then the new one. I wouldn't even count 4 anymore. The one with Christian Bale. I mean, I like Christian Bale, but I felt that movie was as, as the weakest of them all. I mean, sure, this one has problems, but yeah, at least it was more entertaining, you know? It's a summer movie, it had action, had Arnold Schwarzenegger back in his prime. He did a lot better than I thought he was going to do because, you know, he's a lot older. So it's hard for him to get back into that role that he was from the 80s. So I really thought he did a good job. I thought everybody else did a good job as their characters. Because remember, they had to really step up as John Connor, Sarah Connor, and of course Kyle Reese. So they had to step up in those, those shoes. And they, they fit it right? I think so. But I'll let you decide because that's what I like to discuss. It's my opinion. I'm a doctor of movies. I know what I'm talking about because it's my opinion. Everybody has their own opinions. You might hate the movie. You might think I'm crazy because I, I like the movie a lot. But who knows? So that's why opinions matter. Because it's America, people. Everybody has their own opinion. No matter where you are in the world, you have your own opinion to your own self. I like this movie. I thought it was cool. I recommend seeing it. And also, there's an after credit. Who knew? I guess everybody's starting to follow after credits after, you know, the Avengers made it cool. So... Yeah, if you want to see this movie, I highly recommend checking it out. You don't have to go rush out and go see it, but, you know, give it some time. And then, you know, give it a chance when you're, you're bored one day, or you just want to go out a movie and see a cool action movie. It's a pretty cool action movie. Yes, it has its problems, but yet, you know what? It's fun. I really liked it. I'm going to give this movie a 9 out of 10. Why I'm going to give it a 9? Because it made sense to me of all the Terminator movies. From... From the first one all the way to the end, answer a lot of questions that I wanted answered for a while. I wish they did some more things that I, you know, still want to see in the Terminator movie, but I still liked it a lot. Okay, I had fun with this movie. I hope you do. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite Terminator movie. Do you like one? Do you like two? You like three? You even like do you like four? You know what, Christian Bale? I hope not. <laughs> but I'm just kidding. You know, it's your opinion. If you like it, it's cool for you. But yeah. Let me know if you're going to see this movie. Do you think Arnold Schwarzenegger still has a shot to continue doing these movies? I think so. He just got to, you know, take it easy in certain scenes, but here and there. But, you know, he did a good job. 
I liked it. Like I said, I'm gonna keep saying it. I liked it a lot. Skipping is a nine, but you know what? It's up to you to decide. Are you gonna go see Terminator Genesis? And if you do, let me know if you've seen it. Do you like it? Did you hate it? Do you wish they would just reboot this franchise already? Leave a comment below and let me know. And as always, the doctor's in and now, and thank you, and have a good day.